Okay, now let's uh, talk about a company uh, which is also an exchange, right? I mean, we don't uh, do that very often. I'm talking about Bombay Stock Exchange, uh, which is on our radar. Uh, the equity derivative volumes are have picked up quite a bit there. Uh, and uh, growth has been better uh, in uh, that segment, especially equity options uh, than what most expected. Uh, in other news, BSE has also revised their buyback price uh, to, uh, you know, 1,080 rupees from 816 rupees per share earlier. We have uh, the managing director and CEO of the business of the company joining us, Mr. Sundaram Ramamurthy, is uh, MD and CEO at BSE. He's with us here, by the way. In our studios, Mr. Ramurthy, it's great to have you with us here. Good morning. Uh, really pleasure that you could make it uh, to our studio, sir. I mean, uh, you know, the business is doing good. It's reflected in the stock price in a very large way uh, as well. Uh, but uh, let's, if you can talk a little specific, especially since options are the largest part of our markets now. What are BSE's plans? I think uh, the last data we have suggests that you've reached about 5% share in the equity options uh, segment. Uh, what's the latest number? What's the internal thinking on that in, the, in this particular segment? Where do you want to be? First of all, thanks to CNBC for this opportunity. Uh, as you are aware, on May 16th, 2023, to be precise, we introduced Sensex derivatives in BSE. Rather, we relaunched Sensex 30 derivatives. We started with around... Uh, eight members being fully ready, totally 28 members participating. In 16 weeks, as you rightly pointed out, much far exceeding our own expectations, the product has grown. And uh, last couple of weeks, two weeks, if you look at it, we are doing around 100 lakh crores as notional. Around 300 members have already been in. And uh, when we started, two software providers were supporting us today. Around 13 software providers are supporting in the front end around 5 crore UCCs have gotten in and around 3 lakh UCCs are regularly trading. Quite a few things have developed. Uh, if you take the average daily traded volume, which is a mix of all the days and then average out, as you rightly said, it is 5% uh, in terms of the total turnover notional and around 1.5% in terms of premium. Any new contract in India, the trend is uh, the volumes are seen more on the expiry day. I initially thought, honestly, it is only in India. Yesterday, I was just browsing uh, the websites to see what's happening in S&P 500 index options in US. Uh, believe me, on the zero day to expiry options, as they call it, uh, the volume is 400% of what it normally trades on the other day. Oh. So probably this appears to be a trend, and slowly it spreads to the other days. So on the expiry day, if you compare uh, Sensex volumes to a comparable index, say NFT volumes, on that day, because that's not the expiry. Mm. We do around 60% plus. Mm. Uh, on 60% of NFT. NFT. So, you, so on Friday, on the expiry day for you, uh, my volume is around 60% of what NFT does on NFT. Thursday. Well, on not that. NFT does on Friday. On Friday, okay. That's not apple Com to apple comparison. Okay. Okay. So you compare it with uh, Thursday uh, expiry Correct. NFT, then it's around 30%. Around 30%. So, so this is where it is, and this is where it is that growing. That 5% number, Mr. Ramamurthy, where do you want to, uh, what can you get to uh, in terms of notional volumes as a share? Uh, let me be very honest with you. I don't have any such number target. Let me tell you what is the target I have in mind. That is where actually I started from in my career here. The entire purpose of me coming to BSC was to make it vibrant mm -hmm. and provide such products which are alternates available to the market for them to trade in a viable way. So that is the only intention with which we have started this journey. And if we take it forward in respect of equity derivatives, what I would like to put as a number here is, if I have uh, 5 crore UCCs with me in that, at least 20, 25 lakh UCCs should regularly trade. If there are 800 members, at least 400 to 450 members should regularly trade. I am having around 300 members, that number should go up. Mm. So if this is the, and I should have at least a significant volumes coming from foreign participants, because then only the, the word of good word of India spreads everywhere. Absolutely. 
So this is what I am looking at. I am not looking and putting a number to what is the volume I should do and what is the premium I should do, what is the money I should earn. Mm -hmm. That's not what I am looking at. Because the primary purpose with which sure. we have started this journey is to make BSE vibrant. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Ramamurthy, it's a pleasure having you here in the studio. Thank you for joining us. You know, in the equity cash segment as well, I want to understand what is the potential now, given that, you know, there's so much growth in the markets. Um, your market share in the equity cash segment, I think, is stands at about 9% as of September this year. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And what is the kind of opportunity you see? Any targets that you have in mind at all? So there I had put myself a specific target when I started the journey. I should have at least 10% market share with me. I'll tell you where this magic number 10% is coming from. 2014, I left this industry and went to Bank of America as MD and CEO. Mm. Honestly, I never thought I'll be coming back to the capital markets. But as it is, I am here. So when I left, the market share of BSE used to be a significant 30 plus percent. Mm. When I came back, I found it was around 5 to 5.5%. Five so there has been a significant deterioration in the market share. A lot of reasons I was able to see which were contributing from every side, from retail brokers and if you look at it, intraday interoperability which allows the margin offset for a client mm -hmm. if he trades in one exchange and sells in another one. So that was not being provided by many brokers. We talked to many of them and they are all in the process of implementing it now. Some of them have implemented. It is regulatorily provided. It's just the broker front end has to provide for it. And in terms of institutions, I get 4% of the total volumes from mutual funds and insurance companies. Mm. When we approached them, they were telling us that you don't have much liquidity. My humble request to them was, you place no market orders. You place limit orders. Mm. So please place the orders because what happens is then the market participants see that there are big orders available. Mm. Then they swamp in to fill your orders. Then liquidity automatically gets generated. It's a long journey with regard to institutions because they take time to imbibe. So we are working on it. But you know this 10% target that you have is something that you've almost met. I mean you are 9% in August. So I'm just trying to understand. What is the scope over the next one to two years? How much can you take it to? And where else do the gaps lie that you would like to fill? Oh, yeah. So the gaps were mainly coming from all participants. As I just talked about oh. retail and then uh, institutions. FPIs are not able to trade in BSE. Not that they don't want to. Their requirement is a single contract note with a single VWAP price across exchanges. So that probably they feel is not yet provided for. So we are working with the market participants to get that provided. That will fill in that gap. Then is HFTs. If all HFTs try to look into an exchange when they are able to trade derivatives. Mm. If you do not have derivatives, they don't put in all the paraphernalia of things required as infrastructure to trade. So now that you have that, you find the ecosystem is getting built. That's why probably you are seeing inch by inch we are moving up. So once it touches 10%, some of the SORs will start working differently. Some of the HFTs will start working differently. So I feel the share will go, market share will go up. My feeling, which has been vindicted till now, is that any market share growth of BSC will not be at the cost of other exchanges' volume traded. The market share will come, but the volumes will continue to increase because of two reasons. The country in itself is going on a very big growth path. And mm. second is, when HFTs trade in one exchange, they provide liquidity there and they square off their positions or take contrary positions in the other exchange by way of both active and passive strategies. So the pie increases and I will have a market share. It's not that the pie will be same or it will shrink and I'll have a market share. Okay. If I have to put a number to what it is, that is anybody's guess. I feel the trend continues in one or two or three years' time. It should be a decent 10-20% from right. 10 to 20 percent over a period of two to three years time because now if institutions start pumping even 10 percent of their activity to me okay and if hfts find that attractive yes then the amount of volume traded by hfts increase and retailers find it easier to find a better price finer price Got it. finer bid ask spread and therefore better liquidity okay all right uh, good morning mr ramamurthy and good to meet you after many many years i think when i started my career at nse I'd come to you for a couple of files at that time. So good to meet you after more than 10 years. And uh, kudos to you in terms of the progress you've seen at BSC. 
to discuss the operational performance, I wanted to understand whether you're looking at unlocking any more value. The BSC Star MF, that's been a star product, right? Gaining market share out there. The street would like to know whether you have any plans to unlock value out there. So that's the first part. And the second part is you've sold some stake in CDSL. Any plans to further monetize some stake out there? Go ahead, sir. So value is a term which means different for different people, right? I'll tell you what it means to me and how I plan to unlock it. Last two years when I look at it, the UCCs in BSE has grown by 9 crores, which is not a small number. So totally today I have 14 crore UCCs it with me. Unique client, uh, Correct. Unique clients, right. So unique client code does not mean they are unique clients in the sense that some of them can have joint pan and all that sure. stuff. So at least in, if I use a single denominator to sure. measure it, uh, 9 crore UCC has come in the last two years. There has been a good amount of penetration into the market mm -hmm. to say so in terms of mutual fund volumes. For me, unlocking the volume is further penetration to provide a very stable platform where product, features, functionalities, control, governance, sustainability, scalability are provided. Right. Right. You know, Mr. Ramamurthy, I, I get what you're saying. You're looking to further penetrate into the market and further expand. So Correct. we get that. You know, my, my question is, from a shareholder's perspective, they want to know whether you're going to unlock value. In that sense, will you look at getting a financial investor? Could you look at listing this platform you know, those are ways that a shareholder perspective would be looking at. So that's the first part. Is that a plan? And second part is on CDSL stake. Will you sell some stake? So let me answer the second one yes. first. CDSL stake, we sold 5% because Correct. it was a regulatory requirement. The remaining 15%, we are permitted to have it. And we don't have any plans as of now to sell that off. Got it. Okay. Because it's a strategic investment for the country's need, which we entered into regulatory requirements. So we sold the 5%. Correct. The, the first one, mutual fund platform is not a standalone platform. The license for us to do that is come to us because we are an exchange. Okay. And exchange is already listed. Mm. So anything we do as value add in terms of penetration okay. is actually giving money to the shareholder back. Mm. Mm. So it's already listed so, basically. Under yeah, BSC it's part, part of the BSC. BSC. Uh, yeah. Just one uh, question, Mr. Ramurthy. Uh, they, you know, there was, a spell, there was a note from IAFL and they pointed out that you currently charge 500 rupees per crore of premium turnover, which is actually a, a fraction of what the NSC charges. NSC on an average, I think, is about 3,000 rupees or so. And they said, well, they expect BSC will increase this uh, sh uh, is shortly. Is, uh, should we expect this uh, and, and by how much? See, this 500 rupees is not by my design. Mm -hmm. It is one mm -hmm. another legacy which I had inherited. Mm -hmm. This was the number which was there in the system when I have joined. And eight months is too short a time to look at everything and arrive at the right thing. Mm. So will I start charging some meaningful number for derivatives? I put the question that way. Mm. Yes, at the appropriate time, at the appropriate level, I will this be year? charging. This year in FI 20 Honestly, I don't know. Right. I need to ensure the timing is appropriate. Sure. What I would mean by that is volumes on a sustainable basis daily with a greater penetration of the market where you feel the product has started flying on its no, own. So at about what market share will you... I, mean, I will not be looking at it. I, as I told you, okay. I'm not looking at it from a market share. And what share is an appropriate time. number from 500? What is, the more, what is the correct number? I honestly don't know. I will be going to the market and discuss this. Whatever I do will be after consulting the market participants. Okay, just one quick question before we let you go. We're running out of time, but not out of questions. You have <laughs> some other businesses which are in a very nascent stage, right? Whether it's the power exchange, whether it is the insurance distribution, Gift City, the international exchange, etc. Any plans that we can you know, expect to sort of fructify over the next one year? You should. There will be plans. It is just that in eight months' time, I did not have too much of time to mm -hmm. devote to all this. You have pointed out all the right places where I should be devoting more time. Mm -hmm. I will be doing them and there will be plans and we will be doing whatever best we can within the regulatory ambit to further those businesses. Okay, all right, uh, Mr. Amamuthi, thank you so much for uh, you know coming here to the thank studio you, and answering all of our questions. My and all pleasure. the best. Thank oh, you so much. Plans. Thank you. Well, okay, so that is the word coming in from BSC. A mm -hmm. lot of important